Somebody else start? Take it away, Ed. Um, Canada. Yeah, we're, we're here to talk about Canada. To, uh, talk to us a little bit about just the excitement that this trip brings, knowing that it's not something you get to do every day. I mean, it's very exciting. Like I was telling people over there earlier, it's like we get a head start, getting momentum and practices, and just to get to fill each other out before this upcoming season. Have you started to feel any of those expectations at all? Uh, Coach McMahon brings high praise to the table talking about you. The other guys on the team have even talked about they believe that you're the unsung hero coming into this season. What is that like for you? I don't really think about it. I just go out there and whatever I need to do to help the team, when I just go out there and do it. Do you have any personal goals for the season? Uh, as an individual or as a team? As an individual. I ain't really thought about it, but I mean, I like to be all comfortable. And OVC player here, OVC defensive player here. Sure. Um, as far as team goals are concerned, some of those awards, you know, McMahon talked a lot about once the team comes together, the individual awards fall into place. What sort of team goals do you think you guys have this year? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to win. You know, OVC, regular season champion. Finally win a tournament and get to play in the NCAA. Is there a player in the NBA that you grew up watching, or maybe even one currently that you try to pattern your game after, or that you admired so much that you instilled some of uh, the components of their game into yours? Um, I mean, it's a lot of people. Like, effort-wise, I try to be like LeBron James because you know he does a lot of things for the team. Uh, from an offensive standpoint, I try to be like Kevin Durant. Okay. From a defensive standpoint, I try to be like Tony Allen from the Memphis Grizzlies. Right. Okay. It's a good choice. Um, let's talk a little bit more about Canada. What is it about this head start? Is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to when it comes to the Canada trip? Um, just establishing myself as a leader, and you know, just getting the, just getting the feel of everybody's game, just to see how I can mesh with them and what I can tell them to help them get there, right. stuff like that. You've been here the longest, so how do you kind of set the tone for those of you guys coming in? Uh, I said it just by working my butt off every day, talking and competing, and just being that voice in the hood that everybody needs to hear. Um, in an interview with McMahon last week, he said that if he had to pick one guy on the team to go with, any shot, any moment of the game, he would go with you. Any thoughts on that type of maybe companionship or even that trust? with Coach McMahon coming into this season? I mean, that means a lot, but I mean, me personally, I'm always the one that want to take this up because yeah. I feel like I'm built for this and I feel like ever since a young age, my dad, he's been preparing me for moments like, for moments in the clutch when it's time to be special. Right. Okay. All right. Jeff, good luck. Thank you.